Hello makers and welcome back to AGF TV for another tutorial and this time we're making this bottle tote bag that can be great for the holidays or something to carry bottled beverages to your family dinner. Here are the supplies you'll need for this project. A 12 and a half by 23 and a half inch piece of AGF canvas for the exterior, a 12 and a half by 23 and a half piece of AGF linen blend for the lining, a 4 inch by 7 inch piece of matching linen for the outer pocket, a 12 and a half by 23 and a half inch piece of fusible fleece, a 12 and a half by 23 and a half inch piece of fusible interfacing, and two pieces of webbing for the straps that are 2 inches by 23 inches, a pair of scissors, some pins, and a fabric pen. So let's get started. First, we are going to take our piece of fusible fleece and iron it onto the wrong side of our linen piece. Add the fusible interfacing to the wrong side of the exterior piece. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions on your interfacing and fusible fleece. Set your bag pieces aside and grab your pocket piece. Fold one of the short edges down and top stitch. Next, fold the other three sides over a quarter inch and press. Grab your exterior piece and lay it right sides up on your cutting table. Measure an inch and a half from the left side and three and a half inches down and align your pocket piece with the finished edge at the top. Stitch 1 eighth of an inch around the three unfinished sides. Take both the lining piece and the exterior piece and fold them right sides together, matching the short sides. Sew a quarter inch down the side and the bottom, leaving the top open. With wrong side still out, finger press fold to create a crease. Flatten the bottom corners so that bottom seams lines up with the side seam at the one corner and the bottom seam lines up with the crease at the other corner. Measure an inch and a half from the point and draw a line. Do the same with your lining piece. Stitch on all four lines, making sure to back stitch at the beginning and end of your stitching lines. Trim your corners at a quarter inch from your sewn lines. Leave your lining piece wrong sides out and turn your exterior piece right sides out, pushing out the corners. Fold your top unfinished edge of your exterior piece down one quarter inch and pin. Do the same for your lining piece, but make sure to fold the unfinished edge on the wrong side. Slip your lining piece inside your exterior and match the folded edges at the top. Remove one pin and use another pin to attach the two pieces together. Set your bag piece aside and grab your handles. Mark 3.5 inches from each edge and stitch the handle together in half starting and stopping at the marked lines. Be sure to sew slowly and backstitch at the beginning and end. Grab your bag piece and insert the ends of the handles in between the two layers, two inches from each side of the bag, with the end of the handles into the bag about half inch.
Top stitch around the opening of your tote bag at a quarter inch. Also be sure to go slow here since there are many thick layers to be sewn through. After top stitching, lay your tote out, find the middle and mark at the top. From the top, draw a line down 6 inches and stitch on this line. Use a denim needle and a thicker thread here since there are even more layers to sew through. Remember to sew slowly and back stitch at the beginning and end. And your tote is finished! It is sturdy enough to hold two full bottles and it keeps them from clanging against each other. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button for all the latest holiday gift ideas, new fabric collections, and more. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy sewing!